Hi, this is Sarah with Posh Pooch Designs, and today's video is part one of a three-part crochet along. We're going to be making the blossom headband together. And in video one, which is today, part one, I'm going to be uh, helping you gather your supplies, telling you what you need, and then I'm also going to demonstrate how to do the technique, the special stitch, two triple crochets together. And we need to learn that stitch, it's really easy, in order to do the blossoms. In part two of our crochet along, I will be showing you how to make the center portion of the headband where the blossoms are. Then in part three, I'm going to show you how to do the band, how to add that on, and the trim of the headband. What you're going to need, we'll set her down over here. What you're going to need is an eye crochet hook. You're going to need a hair band. And it's very important that you get the kind that is the ouchless, that does not have any metal. I have found in, I use headbands, uh, hair bands every day. And I have found that the ones with the metal uh, come apart real easy. And this is just, I think it's by Goody at Walmart or uh, King Super, wherever you can find um, uh, hair supplies. <laughs> My brain went blank for a second. You can get these. You can even find these at the Dollar Tree, but just check them out. Make sure they're nice and sturdy. You'll need one of those. And this is the pigtail kind, not the little one, the, reg the average size for a regular ponytail, I should say. You're going to need those, and then you're going to need a skein of yarn. And the yarn I'm going to be using for our demonstration is Red Heart Sparkle Soft. This is a worsted weight four. You can use any worsted weight four that you have on hand. It only takes about two ounces, so you can even probably use a half a skein, a skein and be just fine. And that's what you'll need. Those three things, worsted weight yarn, your hair band, and an eye hook. All right, now one thing that you can do, let me move Rosie out of my chair, she's sitting there. One thing that you can do is with this, with this hairband, or this headband, <laughs> getting hairband and headband mixed up, you do not have to do it all in one color. You can do the center uh, red, the outside purple, the, the, the last uh, edge green if you want, however you want to do it, and your hairband does not have to be black. I just have these colors and I did it all in one color just so that you can see how to do it. Okay. <clears throat> Are you ready to, for the demonstration? Because I want to show you how to do three, uh, two triple crochets together. And that's what we were doing right here. It forms the petals of the flower. So I'm going to move my screen down and pop on my glasses. And, um, oh, be sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss part two and part three. Alrighty, moving down that screen. Whoops, went too far. <laughs> there we go. All right, let me move my paper over here. Got my eye hook. And I'm using this beautiful plum color of our Red Heart Sparkle. And what you're going to do Let's chain on the first th uh, three, one, two, three, and then we're going to chain on uh, six more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do that. And that's because at the beginning, <clears throat> I'm going to show you um, how to do the triple crochet two together. So we've got, it doesn't really matter how many you have on here, about eight or 10, 12, just for practice. And I would advise you to practice because it will help you um, when you go to do the headband. All right, so we're gonna put two loops on our yarn, I mean on our hook, two loops on our hook, just like that. And we're gonna skip the first three um, chains, one, two, three. And then we're gonna go in that fourth chain and pull a loop through just like that 
and then we're going to yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over, go through the second two, and leave those two loops on our hook. Then we're going to loop again twice, and we're going to go right back in that same chain we went in, pull a loop through, yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over, go through the second two loops, and now we have three loops on our hook, and we're going to yarn over and go through both of those. And I just, just slipped right off my hook. There we go. And you can see that formed a petal. All right. Now in the pattern, after we do our first petal, we chain four. So I'm going to go ahead and do that one, two, three, four. And I'll show you this again when we go to do the actual pattern. I just want to help you understand what the uh, stitching two triple crochets together. All right, we're going to do it again. Two loops on, on our hook so that we have three loops, two yarn overs and a loop. We're going to go right back in that same hole, the same chain hole, pull a loop through, yarn over, go through the first two loops, yarn over, go through the second two loops, leave those two on your hook, two yarn overs or two loop overs, however you want to call that. We're going right back in that same hole, pull a loop through, yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over, go through the second two, yarn over, and then go through all three. And then go ahead and chain one, because that's what we'll do. And there are two loops, two loops, there are two petals for your headband. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do another one just so that you get a good understanding. On the pattern, we will skip four chains here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four. We're going to have two yarn overs on our hook. We'll go in that next chain. <laughs> Mine was a little tight there. Pull a loop through. Yarn over. Go through the first two loops. Yarn over, go through the second two loops, leave those two on the hook. Two yarn overs, go in that same hole, pull a loop through, go through the first two loops, go through the second two loops, and now we're going to put one more yarn over on our hook and go through all three of those loops. There's another petal. We'll go ahead and chain four because that's what the pattern calls for. Just Give you an understanding. All right. And we'll do it one more time the way we did this one. Two yarn overs. Go through that same hole. Pull a loop through. First two loops, yarn over. Second two loops, leave our two loops on our hook. Yarn over twice. Go through that same hole. Pull a loop through. Yarn over, go through the first two loops, yarn over, go through the second two loops, yarn over, and go through all three loops. And then chain one. And now we've made the tops to two of our petals. And that's how we're going we're gonna to do that stitch. And I'll explain it more to you when uh, we, I'm going to move the screen back up. I'll explain it to you. When, we're, when we do part two of our video. I just wanted to show you the technique of stitching two, single, uh, two triple crochets together to form a petal. Now, I do have this pattern on my blog. It is a free pattern. I uploaded it this morning, and um, you can find that on Ravelry. And I do have the whole pattern out, written out there, and there are a few pictures to help you if you want to go ahead and get started. Um, tom uh, tomorrow's video... Like I said, we'll be part two, and then on Saturday, I'll do part three. Thank you for watching my video, and I certainly hope you'll crochet along with us. And be sure and, like I said, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss part two and part three. And then also, make sure once you finish that you post a picture in your projects on Ravelry. And you can also post a picture on my Facebook page, Posh Pooch Designs, if you want to. 
I'll put that link in there so you can find it. And I really want you to because I want to see all the different colors because you can do variegated, you can do different colors, you can do three different colors, two different colors. Any kind of worsted weight yarn will work for this project. So come and crochet along with us. Thank you.